Edge Von Head DeAndre. This is for either or both of you. Having been acquired over the summer, heading into training camp these past six weeks, how much have you had a chance to get acclimated, connecting with players, coaches, and just generally getting ready to join this team? About a month or two now, right? Yeah. Um, started off, well, he started off a little earlier than me, but we uh, went out to Vegas, met with a few of the team, teammates and stuff worked out, and pretty much it's been since summer league, so we've, we've been around working out and doing, doing our thing. Yeah. We'll go to Zoom, Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, what's going on? Uh, DeAndre, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but your, your contract is partially guaranteed, correct? So does does that add any extra pressure for you entering training camp? No, nah, no pressure, man. This, this is going to be my sixth year, so I'm just going to go out, go out there, play my game, and, and earn what I've been earning so far. So I'm just looking forward to the next opportunity, and this is uh, one of the best opportunities I've received. So. I'll handle it from there. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, DeAndre, can you just uh, give us your, what was your reaction when you got traded to the Nets? And I think you are familiar with uh, Blake Griffin and uh, what did he tell you about what the experience would be like for this, with this team? All right, well, yeah, I didn't get traded. Um, I just didn't re-sign with uh, Toronto last year. So um, this was one of the opportunities that came forth and yeah, I mean, I know a bunch of people throughout the organization. Um, Blake wasn't one of them, but I can say Kyrie was one of them for sure. Um, Cause I went to high school in, in Jersey to, uh, at St. Pat's. So um, a couple of different people throughout the organization I, I do, I am uh, familiar with, but yeah, it was just an opportunity that came forth and um, definitely wanted to take advantage of it. All good. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey guys, for either of you, just obviously this is a tough team to crack the rotation and just what do you look at as you take it onto the court? Is it as simple as defense or is there other things you're looking at? Um, I mean, yeah, defense is always one. You know, uh, like I tell people all the time, this isn't football, you know what I mean? So you, you're going to play both ends of the floor. So uh, just trying to be as good as you can at, at everything, you know, just gelling with guys. Um, playing with guys, learning guys, and just seeing how you fit in. I would just say, just be confident, play your game, and control what you can control. Adam Zagoria, Forbes. Hey, DeAndre, how you doing, my man? Good, bro. Um, good. Uh, you mentioned St. Pat's. Uh, Kyrie's obviously been very supportive, you know, financially and helping the school and the kids there over the years. Um, do you plan on doing anything with them, any type of clinics or anything – you know, helping the school out and working with the kids. And have you talked to Kyrie about that at all? Yeah, well, I talked to Kyrie about that over the years. I mean, you know, I'm very close with Shavanis as well. So um, I've definitely already been doing it. So, of course, the fact that me and Kyrie are actually together now, we're easily going to figure out different stuff we're going to do, whether if it's with St. Pat's or it's just in New Jersey in general. So, um, yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I've been doing stuff with Shavanis over the years. So we're definitely just going to keep going with that. Back to Zoom, Chris Maholan, Nets Daily. Hey, what's up, DeAndre? I'm just wondering, since you went to high school at St. Pat's, is it anything a little special for you to play for the Nets? Most definitely. All of my family is from New Jersey, so um, definitely I know a lot of a lot of people are looking forward to me being back home, my, actually my second home because I'm originally from Charlotte. But um, it's, it's definitely a home-type feeling with a lot of family here in Jersey and also in New York. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be fun for sure. Last call for questions for DeAndre or Javon. Anybody else? Over here. Back corner will go Matt Brooks, Nets Daily. Hey, guys, this is for both of you. Just with all the offensive talent that this team has, does that kind of simplify your roles, just make things a little bit easier on the both of you? Yeah, I would say, yeah. But then again, it, it, it's also hard to say because I haven't played a second here. You know what I mean? So... That's kind of a tough question. You know, uh, ask me again in a few months. Uh, next question is on Zoom, Ajayi Brown, Netswire. Hey guys, uh, this question is also for both of you. Uh, what were your initial thoughts about the Nets organization before you guys arrived and what have any of those thoughts changed? I mean, they have dramatically changed over the past few years, I can say. 
Um, and obviously it's more so championship driven now. And yeah, I mean, that, that's what we were thinking about. I know he was probably thinking about the same thing before we got here was um, that's that's what we all want to play for is a championship. So um, just having that that mental mental thought on it and want to get out here and actually get that opportunity. I mean, you can't ask for more. Last question, we'll go to James Herbert, CBS Sports. Thank you. Uh, this is for both of you guys, but, you know, you talked about this franchise changing so much. It's even changed a lot from when you guys were coming to the end of the off season. I mean, it's like the summer goes on. It's like, oh, wow, Paul Millsap's coming now. Oh, LaMarcus is coming back to the NBA. Like, when those moves happened, then you started to see just how deep this team is. Like, what did you sort of see when you looked at the roster? Um, Like you said, just how deep we are. You know, um, one through 15 can get out there, replace anybody. You know what I mean? So it's just like, you got to be ready. You know what I mean? You got to come in there, work every day, and fight for a spot. That, uh, we'll, we'll fit in one more. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, D, it's, um, it's for you, DeAndre. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, you missed – Kyrie in high school, but you've known him for a minute though. Um, I'm curious, obviously he's not here physically with us because of the protocols and such. Uh, are you at all concerned that, you know, if he doesn't, if he is not vaccinated, that he could miss home games or it, it could disrupt practice at all or anything like that? Or is that not something that you're even concerned with? Cause you figure that's going to pass and he'll be here. Yeah. I mean, me knowing Kai, he's going to make his own decisions. And that's pretty much what it comes down to. So um, we've been working out, doing all of that already. So the fact that the season's here, I know he's going to make his own decision on what he wants to do. And I just have to leave it, leave it at that.